Welcome back in today's closing bell close up. Implantable chips that shift the way we store and assess medical personal information forever. CMC's Ned Ed Hansen now with the story. To put it bluntly, the uh, medical application of Verichip allows the chip to talk for you when you can't talk. This cylinder-shaped chip made by Applied Digital, still in its infancy, has been surgically injected into the upper right arm of a thousand people around the world. That number is likely to change drastically with the FDA's recent approval. This is how it works. The chip contains a 16-digit code that can only be accessed by a handheld scanner, made by Applied Digital's sister company, Digital Angel. That number then connects the ambulance driver or emergency room technician to a database that holds the customer's medical information. But it doesn't stop in the ER. And the benefits of the technology lie in the application, specifically the medical application, the security application, and even the financial application. Up until now, the chips have been down for Applied Digital. That's why the company's really hoping Americans embrace all of those applications. Mexico sure has. Its attorney general and his staff have been chipped. It's how they gain entry into secure areas. Even Spanish nightclubs are on board with the chip. It's how patrons pay for their tapas and cervezas. So far, the FDA announcement here has been good news for Applied Digital. The stock for the NASDAQ-listed company shot up nearly 70 percent after the FDA's announcement and has continued to hold upside momentum. But the company still has a long way to go to get the system up and running in the U.S. The idea is to get a scanner in every emergency room, in every ambulance, with every law enforcement personnel. The company plans on sending 200 to 300 scanners over the next six months. If you follow the pattern that we did in the medical world, or excuse me, in the animal world, today we have over 50,000 scanners across the United States. Applied Digital faces a difficult task, convincing the American public to insert a $200 microchip into their skin and getting the medical establishment to embrace the technology. I think the ethical issue, the most important issue, really is informed consent. The patient has to understand uh, what the pros are, what the cons are, what the risks are, both in terms of the physical use of the data, uh, the data bit, that is, and in terms of the information, uh, how it will be used and who will have access to it. Dr. Prager chairs the Ethics Committee at Columbia Presbyterian. People might consider that there are other ways that are more conventional and more comfortable for people, like having uh, information on a piece of paper or a little uh, uh, computer chip or something in their wallet. There's a number of responses to that. You know, we've all heard of the medical alert braces. We had all heard of identification cards for people that receive medical devices. But when you're brought into an emergency room and you're unconscious and you're unable to communicate, how often do emergency personnel dig into your wallet? Uh, how secure, how tamper-proof is a medical alert bracelet or something in your wallet? Well, here we are live, Maria. I wanted to give you an idea of the scale of this thing. If our camera can get a tight shot of my hand, you'll see Incredible. that I, I have a dime, push pin, and there it is. There's the uh, applied digital Vera chip. And uh, 30 million animals in America are microchipped. I was going to say animals. Now, um, but why do you have that in, for, in your animal? I mean, is it to actually show medical records, or is it just for something else? I think for, for most people, I don't microchip my animals, and, and you, you don't do yours no, either, I right? But I think it's basically, you know, a, a number in case of emergency if the dog gets lost. So here you go. Have fun. This is amazing. Really, really amazing. Thank you very much, Nanette. Sure. I don't know what Anytime. I'll do with this. But <laughs> Nanette Hansen with this microchip. We will be right back on the closing bell.